In this video, we're going to explore how Harmony Email and Collaboration can protect and inspect against file attachments that have been encrypted, compressed, and passworded. Let's take a look. First thing we need to do is enable inspection on password protected attachments. Head over to Policy, find your active policy, select the rule name, and scroll down until you find password protected policies. And ensure the option require the end user to enter the password is selected. If you wish to change, select the configuration cog and change the template that the user will see. For this demonstration, I have two systems. I have an attacking machine and I have a victim machine. So let's head over to our attacker's machine. This file on the desktop is a file called crypto wall. It is a piece of ransomware. I'm going to take this ransomware and add it to an archive. I'm going to give it a password and I'm going to encrypt it with AES 256 encryption. I'm going to take this dangerous piece of malware and I'm going to send it to my victim machine. So let's quickly craft that email and click send. Let's quickly review the victim's machine. We can see here that the email has been delivered. However, the original attachment has not been included. We can see the body of the email, but not the attachment itself. There is a new link in this email that we need to click. Once the user has clicked this, they will be sent to a page and requested to enter their password. I'm going to quickly copy my password into there, paste that in, and that email will be released, but not before it is inspected by Checkpoint. If we head over to the administrative portal and find that email through Mail Explorer and click on the subject of that email, we can investigate what we found. I can see here that we have an email with an insecure attachment. There is the option to enter the password. So if we click that, we can see here that the user has already done this function. The attachment will be unencrypted and decompressed and then will be analyzed for any dangerous files. And we can see here that a second email is sent to the user informing them that this email has been quarantined because it's malicious. Here are a couple of other quick examples of how our password policy system works. Let's head back to our attacker's machine and let's send and craft another email to this victim. We're going to craft that same email again and we're going to attach that same file. But this time we are going to include the password in the body of that email. Harmony Email and Collaboration will search the body of the email and if it believes it's found a password, it will try that against the attachment. It will also try a list of known common passwords. If it is successful, it will automatically decrypt and uncompress those attachments and then perform the malware analysis. So we can see in this example here that the email has automatically skipped requesting the passwords and has gone straight to quarantining it. Now let's say our user wants to release this file anyway. They can do so by clicking the link in the email and they'll be redirected to a page where they can give justification as to why that email should be released. Once they've submitted that reason, the administrator will be able to view this in the administrative portal. Head over to user interactions click on dashboard and you'll see that pending request from that user. On the left hand side, we can click on the menu button for that email and we can choose to restore or decline that particular email request. We are going to give a reason as to why we're declining this because this particular file is malicious and the user will be informed that that particular email has been declined and why. Hopefully this video has been useful and has shown how Checkpoint can protect you against some of the more tricky email attachments that may come in. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and thank you for watching.